Welcome to another tutorial from WordPress Page Builders Academy. Today we are going to show you how to create a single post template with Breezy. If you haven't subscribed to our page yet, please do so because we have tons of WordPress Page Builders tutorials for you. If you are running a blog or have a lot of written content, the single post template is a very important template for your site. It provides a uniform layout for all your blog posts. So in this video, we will go over all the necessary elements that you need in your single post template, and we can show you how to design a basic template. In your Breezy WordPress dashboard, go to the template. Click the Edit with Breezy button to edit the template. Let's navigate to the Breezy editor. When designing your template, you can select from one of Breezy's many pre-designed templates and modify it to your liking, or you can start with a blank slate. Anyway, in this video, we are going to design a template from scratch. What we're going to do is create a single post similar to Tim Ferriss's blog. In the container, select Full Width. and choose a background image to make your website more appealing. Choose a column element for the placement of the form on the right side, and you can customize the look of your form. You can use a plain color for the background or upload a background image. When you click on the plug icon after clicking a button, it allows you to connect the button to external tools or platforms. This can include integrations with email marketing services, customer relationship management, CRM systems, payment gateways, social media platforms, and more. In short, it is used to access integrations with other software or services. Next, let's add a column for the content. As you can see on the Tim Ferriss blog, the right column is much smaller than the left, but in this tutorial, we are just going to make them equal in size. Next add info to show the author date, time, and comment. After adding info, add a title and content. Also, if you want to add a social media search element, you can find options for Facebook, Twitter, and comments. So, I'll add a comment. For a quick discussion. When you click on the comment bubble icon, you'll be presented with options to display comments from various platforms such as Facebook, Discs, or WordPress. This feature allows you to integrate comments seamlessly into your web page from these popular comment management systems. By selecting the desired platform, you can enable visitors to engage with your content through comments using their preferred platform, enhancing interactivity and fostering community engagement on your website.
Next, add Facebook positioned in the middle part of the title and content. For the right side column, let's add a title and button. Make any adjustments necessary, and you can customize the layout for the button. Next, let's add an icon for the social platform. Add another column and customize it for the post content. In the most popular section, this is just a text. You can click the link icon and choose options for pages, posts, and stories. Also, you can input a URL where you want to link to and toggle the button if you want to open in new tab. If If you want to add a post content element, search for the element and add a post. Here, clicking on the caret and then the first icon will allow you to sort your content by various parameters, such as the number of columns, rows, and more. This feature enables you to organize your content layout according to your preferences and the specific design requirements of your web page. In the Filter tab, you can apply filters based on the content source, allowing you to include or exclude specific elements from being displayed. This functionality is particularly useful when you want to customize which content appears on your web page based on certain criteria. Additionally, there is an Order By option available, which allows you to specify how you want your content to be ordered. Now let's try to preview it. But before that, click Update to save your work. There you have it, a simple single post using Breezy. Let's view it in responsive mode to ensure it's on one column. Yes, it is now on one column. What I like about Breezy is that it is automatically responsive, and all we need to do is make any necessary adjustments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell for more updates and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.